have a hard time saying this out loud because I, I really can't believe it. But if we beat St. Anne today, we're in the running for European football, our first season in League One. My name's FM Jellico, and this is the Return Out Glory with SC Bastia, episode 46. Well, since losing the back-to-back -back French Cup and Coup de League games, we've only lost one game since, and that was at uh, Cannes, which was literally three days after Olympic Lyon. Uh, they shut us out 2-0. We were then home against Marseille, and we beat them 3-1 thanks to a Lyle Foster hat trick, 23rd, 33rd, and 63rd minutes. And this, this game is a prime example of FC Bastia counterattacking football. OM had 31 shots, 10 on target. Two clear-cut chances. The possession advantage was, for all intents and purposes, equal. We hit them on the break three times. Brigado with an assist. Frank with an assist. Uh, Queasy Manning had an assist before he went out injured. He was out four to six weeks. He's just now coming back. And Foster just banged him in each time. And our defense held. Zomble was on a 7-3. Dicade Dikide. Diakide by Brigado, all 7 plus 2 or better. Sasha was a 7.0. Um, I pulled him out because I don't know why that's saying 76%. He was he was well on 69%. I pulled him off because he had a niggling injury at the time. He hurt his thigh or something like that. I didn't want it to get worse. We were then away at Bordeaux, and we drew one all thanks to a Lyle Foster goal. We were then home against Angers, and we drew one all thanks to a Frank goal. Right before the end of the first half, we were then away at Dijon, and we drew. Nil-nil. That was a very, very boring game. We were then home against Montpellier, and we won 3-0. Armand with a goal, Foster with a goal, Frank with a goal on extra time. Where does that put us? Eighth place on 41 points. We're, we're, we're playing St. Anne today. They're ahead of us on goal differential. If we win and Nice doesn't, doesn't we will skip ahead of them and qualify for Europa League football. Granted, it's still early. Nice has a game in hand. But if you, honestly, if you told me at the beginning of the season this is where we'd be, I would have thought you were nuts and weren't sharing the really good drugs you were taking. Yeah, it's just insane. Lyle leads the way, 15 goals. Manuel, Brigado, 7.21 rating still leads us. His 6 assists still lead us. Andres Solivier's 88% pass completion still leads us. Our 37 goals are 8th highest in the league. Our 35 goals a lot are the best. We're still first in yellow cards. It's not something I'm proud of, believe me. And our attendance is we're packing out the stadium. And why wouldn't we? You know, we're in 8th place our first year in League 1. It's it's insane is what it is. So today we are playing a very good St. Anne team. They're currently in 7th place. I'm going to set the best 11, check the reserves, and we're going to be back with our match against Liverts in just a minute. Today, we are playing San Anian, and we are playing our 4-3-3. Bazamble in goal, Brigado, Mabai, Diakide, and Sasha as the defensive back forward. Sildavia as the defensive midfielder behind Bernetti and Marjman. Menig and No as the attacking midfielders, with Foster up top as the striker. Bernade from just outside the box, and he scores. Well done. Oh. Well, as we watch the replay of this here, I have to apologize for the intro. I, uh set up my uh, microphone and everything like that, and then uh, looked down and realized I had it turned backwards. So, YouTube amateur. Hard at work. Bazambli sends it forward towards No, who heads it down, but Ikebembe gets it, but he loses the ball to Bernade. Sends it up to Foster, out to Menig. Sends it into No, and he scores. Oh, that was a nice, nice shot. He is really turning into a good winger. The kicker is, any time I let my assistant pick the team, he always puts him at defensive right back because he's a much better player than Sasha is at the moment. Not that Sasha's bad, it's just that no is better. But I've been training him as an attacking midfielder all year, and my assistant coach still tries and puts him in as a defensive right back. But to say moving him up to winger was one of the more better ideas I've had 
more better ideas. Yeah, that sounds horrible. I'm sorry. Coming up on halftime, seven shots, four on target for us. San Antonio, nine shots, one on target. Uh, we've had a clear-cut chance. They haven't. They've got a slight possession advantage, but it's really not doing anything for them. Kone with the throw-in. Ivan Usyk over to Vada. Out to Sprakati. Drives forward. Holds the ball up. Challenged. Gets away. Sends it back to Vada. Up to Ivan Usyk. To, uh, to Aoi. To Ikebenk. Ikebekembe. Sprakati takes a shot. It's wide left. Okay, I'm going to make a couple subs here. Um... Mensik asked to come off because he is not 100% match fit or healthy for that matter. So we are going to uh, bring Frank Diallo on. At the winger. Tom Field is going to come on for Brigado. Morega, back to Mavila. Out to Igbekembe, to Ivan Usyk. Back to uh, James. His first name's James. We're calling him James. No, dispossesses all the way. Bernade sends it up to Foster, who split the defenders. Deeks the goalkeeper and scores. That was nice. You know, Frank is a good striker, and he's had some nice performances for us, but I don't think he would have 16 goals if he was our full-time starter in League One. I could be wrong. Chances are I am wrong, but I just, Sonny Foster, especially for the money we got him at, was just totally worth it. Mavia, over to Morega. Back to James. Dispossessed. Marjman has it. Drives forward. Taps up to Foster again, who holds it up, sends it back out to Marjman. Takes the shot off the post and over the line. That is... That was just wild. Marjman drives forward. Sends it up to uh, Foster, who's dispossessed. Gets it back. Hits it off the post. It pounces off the back of Ruffier. That is a uh, very FM save. Going to make a couple of changes here real quick. Um, we're going to bring No off. And Frank is going to take his spot on the winger. Grenade, again from outside the box. He skies it over the goal, keep goal this time. And that is the game we shut out St. Etienne. 4-0. 14 shots, 5 on target to 13-2. They had the possession advantage. They did absolutely nothing with it. That own goal by Ruffier was just... Wow. And we're in 6th place now. It's Europa League. Son of a gun. <laughs> PSG's 20 points ahead of us. But you know what? One of those losses is us. We enter the Euro Cup race. Uh, Highland reports on no. This is this is how he's improved. Look at those physicals. They've really gotten better. His anticipation's gone way up. His decision-making's gone way up. It's been... Uh, he's three-star current ability now. Five-star potential. Gets four whenever possible. He's definitely going to be a very solid winger. I mean, some of his technicals have to come up for him to be very, very good, but right now he is very, very solid. I'm going to do the press conference. We'll be back in just a bit. Bernade has turned into a very solid midfielder for us, so much so that other teams are starting to take a look at him. I think Palermo is at the top of the list. We maintain our unbeaten record. We have not lost in six games. And we are going to come back for the game. Well, I can't remember. Are we going to have the youth intake in between now? Here's what's going to happen. The tentative plan is we're going to come back for the Lorient game. If the youth intake happens before the Lorient game, we're going to do the youth intake and call it an episode. If it doesn't happen, we're going to do the Lorient game. So, we'll find out what's happening next in just a bit. And it's the youth intake. Uh, look at all the hyphens. Fun times. Fun, fun times. We've got every reason to be excited by Francois Joseph Robert, who's the potential to be one of the most gifted players to come through the youth ranks at Boston in recent years. Okay. Well, no golden generation this year. Uh, 
first time in five years we haven't had one, so I can't really complain. Um, I have not looked at these yet, so let's see. Francois Joseph Robert, Gillian Becker, Malik Fall. Uh, okay. okay. Frankly, this is what I was expecting all of our other previous youth intakes to be. Um, Gillian Becker is unambitious and two-star potential ability. I, oh. Okay, well, let's look and see what we have. Uh, Mr. Deserbe, half-star current ability, three-and-a-half-star potential ability as a goalkeeper. Probably not so much. Malik Fall, defensive left back. Nice physicals. The determination needs some help. Okay, a couple years on the youth squad, a couple years on the reserve team, possibly. Nuruddin Arab, attacking midfielder. Primarily on the left. The physicals are nice, the determination not so much. Four-star potential ability. It's going to need a decent amount of work. I don't know. And Mr. Robert, a defensive center back. Four and a half star potential ability. Only a five stamina, five determination. Okay, his heading marking and tackling are, are really, really good. His bravery is also nice. The aggression's nice. Everything else, not so much. But, you know, 14 years old. We'll see what happens. Well, at the end of the day, this episode is, isn't going to be as long as it would have been if we'd done the Lorient Live Com. But I think the St. Indian match and the uh, youth intake will be long enough. I'm, I'm going to try and keep the episodes under 20 minutes. Um, if I can try and get two Live Coms in, I will. We'll have to see uh, how that goes, you know. So I'm very fond of saying Custer had a plan too. So let's see who we're going to play next here. Uh, out of these four, it's going to be a double live come we come back. Nantes and uh, Leon because Nantes is in third place. Leon's in fifth place. European football. I can't say that out loud and not laugh at this point. <laughs> European football is at stake. Uh, finance wise, you know, we'll, we'll highlight this real quick. Finance-wise, could be doing a little bit better. Um, I'm only 500 euros under my payroll budget. Got no transfer budget left. This season, we haven't lost a ton of money. We're actually making a little bit more than we're losing every month. But we're coming out as a net negative at the moment because of transfer fee payouts and stuff like that, if I recall correctly. Um, the other thing that's kind of catching us at the moment is... Uh, the scouting, I'm not doing as much as I wanted to, and it's because I screwed up my scouting budget. I put too much in it, and I can't really take it out at the moment because I don't need to. Why does it say my payroll budget is 3,000 euros? Because Jellico can't do math this late at night. I'm 3,000 euros under my spending budget. That's a lot better. European football. I can't believe that. But in looking at this recent run of form of gains, yeah, I can kind of believe that. If you take out the two losses here, we haven't lost a game other than the Con game since the middle of December. And these are a fabulous group of guys. But as you can see, Bernade wanted by Palermo. Uh, Thomas Callens is wanted by Pau. He'll probably leave in the summertime. I tried moving on Jordan Tell. There were no takers, even after I listened to him and told him to find somebody. I uh, got a couple teams coming after my youth players as well. But as you can see, our starting 11 and our reserves have turned into a very solid group of players. The one player I am kind of a little bit disappointed by is Sasha. I would have thought he'd been better than the two and a half stars he's at now. We'll have to see what happens with him in the summertime. It's... Possibly he could be moving on as well. That said, you're... <laughs> European football, yay! You know, games against Nantes and Leon coming up will probably tell us where we are with that. 
but we are getting relegated from League One, and that is a very, very good thing this season. If you liked what you've seen or heard, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below. I'll answer them as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellico, and you've been watching The Return Out Glory with SC Bastia, episode 46. Mm-hmm.